Jessica affectation, the look of a debutante when she goes to parties. And so you need a verb form of this. You can just say affects. You can say affects. And that is puts on. Puts on. Number two. Our four instruments <coughs> suffice you, for playing a quartet. God bless you. Are you losing? God bless you. This way, guys. You can. Just get out. Why are you guys doing all this? Number three. The college officiate officiate presided at the commencement activities. What's the noun form? Somebody who officiates is called what? An official. Who's your favorite teacher and why? Uh, Mr. Sheehan, he's always there for you. Always gonna have fun in class, nothing but fun. My favorite teacher is Mr. Sweeney. He's hilarious. And buff. And buff. He's a monster. I love him. Have they said anything or done anything to inspire you to do good in the future? What, what? <laughs> um, Mr. Sweeney just guides me. He's a good teacher. Sets goals. And raps. Yeah, he, his, pretty, his raps are pretty inspirational. Flows are insane. Yeah. So, what do you have to do with the negative 0.62? Add it on the other side. So, you get 4.9 plus 0.62. So, you're going to get 5.5. So, the absolute magnitude, right, is negative. 5.52. That's very bright. Full moon is negative 12. So it's pretty bright. Right. My favorite teacher is uh, Mr. Olson. We got you from Minnesota. He's got a good teaching method down. Let me get a 100% on the final. I like that. All around good guy. Uh, Continuum. Uh, Andreña vive en el área metropolitana de Tegucigalpa. Go, Toby. Termina. Antes de... 1800. 1800. Uh, Wait, 1800. 1800. I'd have to say, Mr. Garcia is my favorite teacher. And this is so because we have a very productive class. We always learn things, always have discussions in Spanish. He told me I'm his favorite student. That's supposed to be a secret. But uh, we also go to restaurants, you know, we do cultural things. It's not just learning Spanish. And the guy knows how to treat his students like really well. He never makes fun of us. He doesn't make fun of us. Yeah, okay. Can you guys speak? Is that moon back? It's white. This is your show now. Hey, hey, moon, you want to see me? I'm sorry. Hey, guys. It will probably be about five seconds. All right. Hey, uh, listen up. The monks operate schools, medical clinics, and meditation centers. Good. All right. Uh, does anyone know what these guys are here? Monks. Monks. Uh, and what is it? What are they carrying? Umbrellas. Umbrellas. So. If you notice, it's not raised. It's not raining. So who knows why they have the umbrellas? It's not raining. For what? Not us. Okay, this is not not for the sun. Not for the sun. The the umbrella, especially yellow one, is symbolic of Buddha himself. Okay, because the first Buddha, Siddhartha Gautama, had an umbrella which which symbolized royalty, right? But then now it actually becomes the symbol. So the monks begging for food. By the way, it's not raining, why the umbrellas? And that's because of, uh, that's a symbol of Buddha, like the footprint and the uh, stone. My favorite teacher is Jesus. Why? Well, because he, ta he, caught, he taught us the way, the truth, and the life. He taught us how to be kind and to be nice. He taught us about the ways of God. 
And even though I'm sick today, I still have faith in Jesus. And actually, I love the teachers at Crespi. They're also my favorite teachers. Thank you. Who's your favorite teacher? Favorite teacher? Oh, Mr. Nihei. Why? Why? Because I like video production a lot, and uh, he's a cool guy, you know? He's uh, very down to earth, and uh, he understands kids a lot. Or name drop. Has he done anything to motivate you in any way? Oh, yeah, you know, he, he compliments us on our work and stuff like that, and he's always telling us what to do, and just like how to fix things, and things like that. And, uh, I think that's uh, what it's all about. Be serious. But dear, I don't have him. He said I was just, he didn't have to go to purgatory because of me. What? <laughs> what does that mean? I you swear to God. <laughs> All right, so, you know, me, my sophomore year, me and Badia had uh, some conflicts, and my mom came in. <laughs> hey, speak of the devil. Um, and my mom came in to talk to him, and he was like, yeah, because of your son, I don't, your, your son is equivalent to purgatory. I don't have to go to purgatory because of him being in the class. So, that's my story with Padilla. My favorite teacher this year was Mr. King. Why? I felt like he uh, actually learned a lot in this class. I enjoyed the books he gave out and he's a great teacher. He's kind of funny. My favorite teacher is Mr. Selby. Okay. Um, he, he, he led me to excel in the classroom in mathematics. And um, I learned a lot. And I was really quiet sometimes. My favorite teacher isn't lot. All right, well, my favorite teacher is Mr. Selby, and that is because he made me never lose hope. See, when I had a D in this class, I wanted to switch out of honors. But he kept on, you know, correcting my work, and he, he built, built, built up my confidence, you know what I'm saying? And then he made me raise that grade up to a B. So that's why I like Mr. Selby, my favorite teacher. Kenny? Um, yeah. DJ Gross. Why? Because he's awesome. Have interesting discussions about the different ways to say a hundred. Has yeah. he said or done anything to inspire you to do better in the future? Uh, he keeps on persuading me to go to USC, but I really don't want to. But so he strives me to be better, better person, and better children. Okay, thank you very much. Who's your favorite teacher? Uh, my favorite teacher is Coach Bella because he's the man. He's super nice. He inspires me to be a great architect and yearbook dude. All right, now I need to read that. Who's your favorite teacher? Uh, my favorite teacher is Coach Billick because he is the man and he is a really good architecture teacher and he teaches teaches me all the tips and tricks of the trade. Yeah. Right. Who's your favorite teacher in life? My favorite teacher would, without a doubt, have to be no disrespect to any of your other teachers out there. Coach Billick. Why do you ask? For one simple incident. See, one time, I was lying face down in the middle of a ditch in Barstow. I'd been down on my luck and I had run into some problems with the mob. And uh, I actually I had one quarter left. And, you know, I had one phone call and there was one, you know, one little payphone. And I already knew who to call. Not, not the police, not my mom. It was Coach Billick. Coach Billick, about an hour later, Jumped out, jumped out of a little prop plane with no parachute, landed, just feet just like that, perfectly fine. Got up, picked me up. I could perfectly walk fine, but he just decided to put me on his back and run down the Route 66 freeway, brought me home, and cooked me a steak dinner. <laughs> that is why Coach Billy is my favorite teacher. Thank you. Uh -oh. oh, hey, welcome to Strickler's class. I gotta teach? We're doing a review today. Professor Strickler, how do you shit? Uh oh. Let's hear. Strickler. Yes. Go, go, go.